Hey everyone, this is Mike at Iron Beam. We're going to go over the trading matrix or quote board in the Firetip X trading platform. So we're starting with a blank workspace. All we need to do is go to trading and select quotes. And this is the trading matrix. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. This is basically where you view all your quotes, bid, ask, high, low, stuff like that. You can load custom formulas and add indicators and stuff like that too, but we're going to stick with the basics here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add a symbol. You can do that down here at the bottom left. If you already know a symbol, you can just type it in. Or if there is one you're looking for and you don't know the actual symbol for the commodity, we can just go to the symbol search in here. And let's say we're looking for E-mini Dow Jones. Let's click on equity, E-mini Dow Jones futures. And here we can just select the front month or we can select a couple months if we want to load more than just the September contract, and then we click add. So now those are loaded in. Um, these are all loaded here on the first tab. We can rename this. So if we want to call it main, we can do that. And let's say we wanted a second tab here that was just for energies. We can just rename it and we can add a couple symbols. And now we, if we just want to view our main quotes, we can just go right here or we can just flip right over to energies. Now, there's a few other things you can add to the trading matrix. You can add options and futures and options spreads. So let's say if you wanted to view the December 20 versus 2021 calendar spread for crude, we would just type in cl.z20-cl.z21. And that'll just load the spread right in there. So, we see a few columns here that are preloaded. These are the defaults. We can switch those out. We can add new ones or just remove ones we don't want. Um, we can also rearrange them. So if you just drag one around, it's as simple as that. But if we want to add a new column, we go up here to the settings gear. And on the right, we have the displayed columns. And you'll notice that they're all checked. And on the left, we have available columns, which are not being displayed because they're not checked. So if we wanted to remove open, we would just uncheck it. And now we will see it somewhere over here unchecked there we go and let's say we wanted to add open interest we would just check that and now it's been added so we save and now we have our new column here open interest what we can also do is change the text color or backgrounds of any of these columns so let's say we wanted the bid to be green we would go back into settings We'd find the bid column, which is right here. We'd click on the settings gear and we can change the text background color and we have a nice color selector. So we can go to green, make it a little bit darker here, click choose, save. And then we can save it or we can save it as default. So any new tabs or any new matrix matrixes you open, it'll open with these settings. So now our bid column here is green. A couple other things you can do in the trading matrix is if you click on any symbol, it'll present you with a little drop down menu. And there's a number of helpful options here. The first one is place order. So if you click on place order, it'll load just a default order ticket for that contract. The second one is advanced trader. So this will load depth, um, also known as like a dome or a ladder. The third option is a chart. Fourth is symbol info, which is really helpful. It'll give you the contract specs, the expiration, the exchange margins, um, tick value, things like that. And it's super helpful for things like spreads where you're not always going to know off the top of your head what the margin is. And Firetip uses all span margins. So if I go to crude oil calendar spread and go to symbol info, this is the actual CME span margin for that spread. After symbol info, we have edit symbol. So if we have to change the expiration for this, if we want to move this forward, we can just do that really easily. And then lastly, we have remove symbol, which you can just select and it'll remove a row, or you can also just click on a row and press the delete button on your keyboard and it'll remove that symbol. So that's the trading matrix. There's not a whole lot more to it. You can add custom formulas and indicators, but we're gonna cover that in a separate video. Um, I hope this was helpful and feel free to reach out if you need anything else.